ഹലോ ഹായ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി സീൻ ദ എം സി ക്യൂസ് ഫോർ ക്രോമെട്രിക് ഐ ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ്പ് ദ സെഷൻ ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഫിഫ്ത് സെഷൻ ഫോർ ക്രോമെട്രിക് ദോസ് ഹു ഹാവ് നോട്ട് ഇയർ ടു വാച്ച് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് സെഷൻ കൈൻഡ്ലി വാച്ച് സിറ്റ് ദിസ് ഈസ് എ കണ്ടിന്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് പാർട്ട് ഫോർ സോ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ബിഗിൻ ടുഡേ സെഷൻ പാർട്ട് ഫൈവ് ഫോർ ക്രോമെട്രിക് moving on to the 45th question which artery is dissected most commonly following arteriography by femoral route option a celiac trunk option b superior mesenteric artery option c inferior mesenteric artery and option d gastroduodenal artery the answer is option c inferior mesenteric artery now let's see the explanation Inferior mesenteric artery arises from the abdominal aorta at the level of the third lumbar vertebrae. It supplies the hind gut and has four major branches called left colonic, sigmoid and superior rectal arteries. Moving on to the next question, question number 46. Earliest investigation for diagnosis of ankylosis spondylitis. option a mri steel sequence option b bone scan option c ct scan and option d x ray the answer is option d x ray so now let's see the explanation what is meant by ankylosis spondylitis it is a type of arthritis that causes inflammation in the joint and ligaments of the spine normally the joints and ligaments in the spine help us move and bend if you have ankylosis spondylitis over time the inflammation in the joint and the tissues of the spine may cause stiffness moving on to the next question question number 47 how much area is covered by spiral ct in 30 seconds option a entire organ option b entire abdomen option c entire trunk and option d whole body the answer is option d whole body so what is meant by spiral ct let's see the explanation helical or spiral ct is the most advanced modality over conventional ct scan here the patient lies on the ta exam table that passes through the donut shaped scanner while the x ray tube rotates around the table this movement results in the spiral shape continuous data set without any gaps moving on to the next question question number 48 x ray view of choice for lumbar spondylysis is r option a pa view pa view means posterior anterior view option b lateral option c left oblique view and option d right oblique view so the choice best choice for lumbar spondylysis is option b that is lateral view so let's see what is spondylysis means it is a general term for age related wear and tear of the spinal disc spondylysis is common and worsens with age this condition is often used to describe degenerative degenerative as arthritis of the spine moving on to the next question question number 49 high resolution ct of the lung that means hr ct of the lung is a specialized ct technique for greater detail of lung parenchyma and it utilizes option a special lung filters option b thick collimation option c bone algorithm for image reconstruction and option d large field of view the answer is option c bone algorithm for image reconstruction so now let's see the explanation high spatial frequency that is bone reconstruction algorithm is superior to the standard algorithm in the assessment of thin session images of the lung parenchyma in the case of hrct usually the slice thickness will be 1 mm moving on to the next question question number 50 which of the following is non ionizing radiation 
Option A, X-ray. Option B, Beta rays. Option C, Alpha rays. And Option D, Microwave. The answer is Option D, Microwave. So now let's see the explanation. Microwaves are non-ionizing radiation. So they do not have the same risk as X-ray or other types of ionizing radiation. But microwave radiation can heat body tissues the same way it heats the food. Exposure to high level of microwaves can cause skin burns or cataract. So microwave is a non-ionizing radiation. Moving on to the next question, question number 51. Maximum radiation exposure occurs in Option A, bone scan. Option B, X-ray. Option C, MRI. And Option D, CT scan. The answer is Option D, CT scan. The effective doses from diagnostic CT procedures are typically estimated to be in the range of 1 to 10 millisievert. Moving on to the next question, question number 52. Investigation of choice in whole body imaging in metastasis is Option A, MRI, Option C, Angiography, Option C, Venography and Option D, CT scan. The answer is Option D, CT scan. CT including low dose CT is used to detect changes in bone structures due to metastasis of primary tumors. Specificity is 95% and sensitivity is 73%. Moving on to the next question, question number 53. Most reliable test for spinal tuberculosis. Option A, raised ESR. Option B, PD skin test. Option C, CT guided biopsy and option D, MRI. The answer is a option D, MRI. Now let's see the explanation. Magnetic resonance imaging is the criterion standard for evaluating disc space infection and osteomyelitis of the spine and is most effective for demonstrating the extension of disease into the soft tissue and the spread of tuberculosis debris under the anterior and posterior longitudinal ligaments. So the most reliable test for spinal tuberculosis is question number 54. In magnetic resonance imaging, paramagnetic substances cause option A, shortening of both T1 and T2 relaxation times Option B, shortening of T2 relaxation time only. Option C, shortening of T1 relaxation time only. And option D, no effect on T1 and T2 relaxation times. The answer is option A, shortening of both T1 and T2 relaxation time. Now let's see the explanation. Because of these paramagnetic properties, Gadolinium facilitates both longitudinal and transverse magnetic relaxation, thereby shortening of both T1 and T2 of tissues in which it accumulates. So, paramagnetic substance is what the contrast we are giving and after giving contrast, we will be taking only one weighted image that is the T1 weighted image. Moving on to the next question, question number 55. Which of the following are true about iodinated intravascular contrast medium except option A, they are used in digital subtraction and geography. Option B, they are radio opaque. Option C, they are used in MRI. And option D, they are excreted mainly by the kidneys. The answer is option C, they are used in magnetic resonance imaging. So, iodinated contrast medium is used in all other investigation, means all other special investigation procedures as well as in CT, except in MRI. In MRI, we are using paramagnetic substance and the best example is gadolinium. So, with that, I am winding up.
today's session hope you all are clear with today's session if you have any queries you can feel free to contact me in my whatsapp as well as through my email i'll be giving my whatsapp number as well as my email address in the description box so stay tuned till next sunday sunday is the day i used to upload new new videos if you like all my videos please share among your colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading until then bye bye